Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Cooking with Pam Davidson. And this weekend is Valentine's Day weekend. So, I thought I would show you what my husband brought me in here yesterday. A dozen of red roses. He surprised me with them. So, we are going to make some chocolate covered strawberries. This is something that's really easy to make, but if you go out and buy them, they're real expensive to buy. A strawberry, just like this size, covered in chocolate, would probably cost you about four or five dollars at the mall. So, what we're going to do is I have a package of almond bark. Now, this stuff melts pretty easily. This just came from Dollar General. So you can get uh, in the grocery store, you know, where they sell the chocolate chips and all the chocolates like that, you can find um, almond bark. So this just comes in big old chunky pieces. So we are going to melt some of this in the microwave. And you just want to do a little bit at a time and you got to keep stirring it. We'll do about that much. I'll put it in the microwave. And you want to keep a watch on it and stir it about every 20 to 30 seconds. And I'm going to get right back to you when, once it's melted. All right, I've heated it for a couple of minutes. And you can see how creamy it is. Now, you don't want to get it too hot or it'll thicken up on you and you won't be able to dip your strawberries in it. So what you want to do is wash all your strawberries, wash them off, and then set them on some paper towels and dry them really good. Pat them with some paper towels because they got to be really good and dry in order to dip. All right, I think this chocolate's about ready to dip here. We'll start up just a little bit more. How's everybody's weekend going today? It's cold and dreary here. February's been just a lot of snowy days and... We normally don't get a lot of snow or a lot of cold, cold weather, but February has really been cold and wintry mix and ice and freezing rain and all sorts of stuff like that. All right. Got some of these little papers here. I might, might put these out. Maybe I can set them in these. All right, let's get a couple of these out here. I'll just dip a few and show y'all what it's going to be like. These papers might, these little papers I have, they might be too small. I already got chocolate on me. Look at there. I guess that knife flicked out of the bowl here. But anyhow, we got our chocolate here. Just going to lay them on the wax paper here. Now you're going to take your strawberry and Hold it up by this green stuff, the green stem here. Hold it up by that, and then you'll be able to just put it in your chocolate and give it a swirl. Remember how much you want on there. Look how nice that looks. And then I'm just going to set it in this paper just like that. Don't that look fancy? And that chocolate's going to harden on there. So this is how fast and easy that you can do chocolate covered strawberries. Get another one. See how quick that chocolate starts hardening up on them? I went to Walmart yesterday and they had these strawberries. Because a lot of times strawberries don't look, by the time you get them home, they're already turning and you can't really dip them. But these look pretty nice. Now these great big ones, look what a strawberry that one is. Now that thing is huge. I'm just going to have to lay it right out on the paper. But we're going we're gonna to dip this great big one and show you. Look at 
you don't have them little cups that's okay you just take and dip that in there like that and then we're just going to take and lay this right here on this wax paper and that'll harden up in no time all right we'll take another one now y'all already had this chocolate because i uh you look at my videos i made a lot of different candies at christmas time and i still had this chocolate so this is a good way to use some of this up for valentine's day you don't want to make too many of these at once because you need to kind of eat them i'll put them in the refrigerator you want to leave them in the fridge look at that boy these are going to be some nice ones Woo. And for what little bit of effort this is, you can make somebody a nice little Valentine present. Just go out and get you some chocolate and get you some strawberries. Look at there. I'm just going to lay these right here on this wax paper. Yeah, look at there. This is looking nice. Y'all be sure and share my videos. And let me know in the comments where you're from and what kind of food you'd like to see me make. I try to make some low-carb stuff and I try to make some desserts and sometimes some, some old comfort food. Southern comfort food. We all like that from time to time. And we all like a little treat from time to time. We just can't have this every day. All right, look at there. All right, I'm going to cut the video and show you the next step. Hang on a minute. All right, the last step we're going to do here is I put some red chocolate in this little squeeze tube and let me see if i can get you down here close so you can see what i'm doing i'm just going to take and squeeze some of this just like that make a little stripes on your make it fancy looking this is just optional but you might want to do this Put a little splash of red on for Valentine's Day. Make it look fancy schmancy here. Look at there. All right, let me see if I can get the camera down here to show y'all a little bit closer. 